Brian Hummel here with waterranching.com. I just want to show you the difference you can get when you slow the water down and add some wildflower seeds. This is a very typical hill country roadside and as you scan across you can see the other side is not as typical. I've got wildflowers standing over my head and uh, there's tons of hummingbirds and pollinators and bees and bugs and insects and life and the rabbits eat it, the deer eat it, everything eats it. Livestock would certainly eat it. The other thing is, is the water is rushing off of this side, taking the soil with it. As you can see, these little microdetritus berms. That's some soil that washed off the uplands. So water and soil washed from there and washed down to here. Um, in the next big rain, that's all going to wash away because there's nothing here to slow down the water. When they graded the road, they just graded this flat. They took all the topsoil away and now hardly anything grows. It's a little bit lusher down there, but that's where the water virtually stands still. So I made the water stand still on this side and I caught it over and over and over again. And as you can see, it turned exceptionally more lush than the other side. The thing that's also strange is that side gets more water than mine. So um, it's not a water thing. Their, their side, the, uh, the new landowner came in there and he wants me to do the same thing that he sees here. He wants me to do it on his side. So you've seen now the baseline documentations between the side that uh, has not had water ranching management and the side that does have water ranching management. So all of this beauty that you see on the surface is even more beautiful underground because I'm putting about, on just four acres with the 12 acre watershed, I've put about 8 million gallons of water into the groundwater system. Anyway, just in the past two weeks, by the way. Uh, and in small light rains, small I love small light rains. Even though none of my systems work, small light rains means that everybody's property absorbs like almost 100% of the water. So small light rains are great, but uh, because we are having these huge flash floods, uh, let's catch that flash flood on the surface. Let's make some beautiful, beautiful uh, wildlife habitat and pollinator habitat uh, for the benefit of all of our agricultural areas. And uh, you can do this as simply as how the Mayans and the Incas did by slowing down the water and letting it infiltrate in the ground. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, find me at Water Ranch.